So it's been a couple of days now. We actually got the engine sitting and the silicone should be completely set. Today is Saturday. Um, it's actually Tuna Galleria today. And I was originally supposed to go to Tuna Galleria, but I was like, you know what? This car is so close getting swapped, really. So we, all we need to do now is change out the pilot bearing, put the trans in. Obviously I have to, go, I have to put like the flywheel bolt and blah, 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 do all that. We should get this car honestly swapped by today. And what's really special is that my buddies, uh, Ryan, Kyle, uh, Terry, who have been coming by, and we're gonna be hopefully swapping this thing in. It's it's great. I'm I'm so excited. I'm 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 just beyond flabbergasted. So yeah, this is you know as much as I'm sad not going to Tuna Galleria, we gotta get stuff going. You know, this thing's been sitting like this for forever, and she's practically getting ready. You know, she's ready to be swapped in. Head drains in everything, right? Like this thing just needs to be in there as fast as possible. And I just reminded myself that I need to ask them if they have a flywheel tool. And no one probably has one, but oh well. Now we're gonna try to get the pilot bearing out, but we're gonna try to get it out with bread. I've been to almost every auto parts store. All of them tell me that the flywheel tool is special order. If I order it now, I would, and I, you know, uh, fast express it or whatever, I should be able to get it tomorrow. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm really not trying to wait that long. I totally forgot that I checked every auto parts store, but except for Napa, not sponsored or anything. So I go to the store here and I misread the text. I thought it said pick up at store, but it says it'll drop it off to the store. So I talked to the guy and he told me, yeah, like, yeah we don't have it in stock, it's special order, but I can get it over here by the afternoon. I'm like, seriously? He's like, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so right now it's like a little bit like 9.30ish, perfect. I still need to, Go get supplies, I think, right? I need to get some bread because I just remembered about the pilot bearing. I think white bread is, I don't think any kind of bread, it's just fine, right? I, I heard this is like, like a very classic trick. It, I heard it does work. I've never tried it myself. Actually, when I built the FDM, I remember, I okay, so I just, when I was driving over here, I swear I remembered I bought a flywheel tool. Maybe I rented it out or I borrowed somebody. I, I, my memory's a little bit foggy about that. And I, and I think I used the bread trick. No, I don't think I did. I think I just, <laughs> I totally could see myself not changing out the pilot bearing. But with the rear main, I also got the pilot bearing. So let's try to change it out. Probably just in case if this doesn't work, I probably should get like the actual tool. I passed Harbor Freight not that long ago. So I'm, I'm just jumping around right now, but. Okay, so update. I'm going to Harbor Freight, but I totally remembered about the Honda Bond. I bought two extras because I, I did I just in case like if I needed and they're like 13 a piece and it's like on the way back there so okay cool 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 I can return that get the tool just in case and if I don't use it then I could just return that too and then that's perfect because then when I go have to do some other stuff later today I could just head back to oh dude this is working out way better than I thought all right so I'm at Harper Freight here and then they have a pilot bearing tool it'd be kind of cool if we didn't have to use this tool but I'm trying to play it smart right now we got it oh dude oh man 60 something dollars it was like 61 dollars and like you could go online and, and buy these like for like half the price but i'm like we got to get this engine in as soon as possible we got the boys coming through i've seen it in the internet right people have used bread you know, to kind of compact in there i guess what it's supposed to do is oh yeah oh dude that bearing looks like she's been going through it. I think you just kind of grab it and you just pack it in there, I guess. And what's supposed to happen is that the bread gets pushed in and then when it gets smushed, it's supposed to push it out like this. Pushes the, the pilot bearing out. But the only issue is that you need to make sure you're always packing it in. So I don't have a punch or anything, but I have a, a, this 10 mil socket is very close to the size. So. And I guess you just gotta keep on packing it, really. You pack it enough and eventually something's got to give, right? I mean, honestly, I could be doing this completely wrong, but... I think this pilot bearing is just too far gone. It's like, it's like I'm taking earwax out. All right, time to grab the tool. Wow. Wow. This thing has just been, she's been through it. This is what a factory pilot bearing is supposed to look like. This is what came out of the car. It is just completely Either way, right? 
Honestly, that was not too bad at all. That was, doing maintenance is really not that hard. The next thing we have to do is put the flywheel back on. All right, so I got the flywheel here and just got a little rusty, but overall the surface looks pretty good. I mean, it's not like I don't have any options right now, if I'm honest, so. Oh my God. Okay. Look at the wheel. Thankfully there's only one way to install this thing because it has like a pin right here. Now, now I know I, I was about to make a big mistake. I'm supposed to put the back plate on. There you go. Now the back plate's on. Let's get the actual flywheel on here. Now that's done. We got all that. We got all six of these bolts here. And I need to clean. Yeah, they got a little bit of a lock tight in there. So we're gonna clean that up first. So now, which type of Loctite you're supposed to use? So online, a lot of people said, oh, you're supposed to use red Loctite. Other people said, you're not supposed to use any because factory doesn't come with any. For me, I'm using blue because it's like a semi-permanent. I remember in the past, we used red before, or like, I think, I think one time I used red on the crank, on the front, the crank bolt. And dude, when we try to take it out, it was just, it, it, it wouldn't want to come out. I remember Toge Factory even like, they had so much trouble taking it out. If I'm honest, I, from my memory, I've seen blue used a lot. That's what I'm using right here. I'm not using a lot, I'm just using a good amount of blue here. And obviously this is not gonna be the only time, like if you're never ever gonna take this thing off, like, and I, I don't know how like you would, like that would be even a possibility. You know, there's always a possibility you have to take stuff off. Or like, let, let's say God forbid, like a flywheel breaks off or something. I always save my clutch tool. I always save it. Because of situations like this. There you go. Now, some people prefer, obviously, you know, lock tighting everything, but I think what I'm gonna do here is probably gonna do the same, but I'm gonna clean everything up. Oh, do you guys hear that? That sounds like Terry. I think Terry's here already. We got Terry in the Audi. Bro, I haven't seen this thing in a hot minute on the road. So we got one of the grouped guys already here. It's like good old times, Terry. So Terry brought me bolts because I have no bolts for the mounts or the trans. I mean, he's got literally everything in here. So we got Terry here scrubbing the bottom of the trans. And then we're gonna finish up putting this clutch in. And Ryan and everyone else should be coming in here soon. And then this should be the last one here. Alright, cool. Nice. Fantastic. And then we just pull the sucker out. Fish. I might have to readjust the uh, the drain a little bit because I could you, you can see it's like kind of like the clearance is a little bit off. Now where's that going to go to? The pan that we that we oh, that was... yeah that we made the bunk for. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. I should probably tighten this down actually. <laughs> is someone calling me on my phone? Yeah. Is that gamble? Yeah. And guess who has arrived? It is Ryan, Gamble, and Kyle. Guys, this is like 2017 all over again. And you guys are finally seeing the pink car. Yeah. How's your How's your knee? Um, fucked up. All right for being considered. I got plenty of Tylenol. So okay. these This is your guys' first impression. Everyone here is their first time seeing the pink car. So thoughts so far? I thought it had a cage in it. It did have a cage in it, and then they took it out. You know, cause he originally Ross, he was gonna redo the whole car, right? Yeah. But then his boss was like, "Hey, stop messing around. Let's get that. Let's get that Mustang that you wanted." And then they sold literally everything in a week, right? Sold the engine, and everything, and then about a week later, he bought a Mustang. You know, and now and now it's like the car's pretty much done, right? And then he's it's he's ready to track it. You, you know, a real real hot take. It's a better start than the FDM. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent better start. You know. And it's drastically less of a turn. Mm -hmm. 
So the we it had a cage kit's uh, front end on it, but we took it out because uh, I when I painted, I painted it all wrong and it was disgusting. So I have to repaint it, right? Cut some corners on it, and it obviously didn't work out. So, but because there's no front tube, you know, or front end, this thing should just slide right in. And it, it, this had a T56 trans, I believe, mm. oh. or it had some kind of like really crazy transmission in it, right? That costs like a bajillion dollars. So you could tell it's already it's already ready to go to sw yeah, swap this thing down. in here. Yeah. So we we literally just got everything done. We just got both these two together, and then put the mounts on, and then just slide them in. Cool. Yeah, that that simple, right? That that simple. It's good.